Okay, today I'm going to be tying weights to flies to see how much they can lift. So I have two flies here that I've been bulking up by feeding Cheerios soaked in milk. So they're ready for their weightlifting exercise today. So I'm going to be tying a tiny little string to them and seeing how much weight they can lift. Okay, so you may be wondering how I'm going to tie a string around flies without them getting away. So I'm going to be putting them in the freezer and what this does is it slows their metabolism down. It doesn't hurt them at all. Actually, they do this to patients in the hospital when they need to slow their metabolism down for different reasons. So that's what I'm going to be doing to the flies here. Okay, so I'll just put them in the freezer for about five minutes here. You don't want to put them in too long or else they'll actually freeze. So when I get the flies out, they're gonna look like they're dead, but they're not actually dead. Their metabolism had just slowed down so much that they're not moving very fast. And if you haven't seen any of my previous videos where I did this before, and I mentioned that this is actually the trick the magicians do to make it look like they make a fly come back to life. They'll put it in a freezer for a while to slow its metabolism down, then it'll look like they have a dead fly in their hand. They'll wave their hands around and then the fly will come to life and fly away. But today while it's asleep, I'm gonna be tying a little string around it to see how much weight it can lift. And then after all this, I'll cut the strings loose and let the flies go. Okay, so obviously I've never done this before, so I have no idea how this will go or if it'll work or how much the fly will be able to lift. So I'm gonna start with just lifting the bare string. So I'm gonna have a bunch of string and based on how much it can lift off the ground, I'll measure that length of string and see how much it weighs at the end. But I might need to add weights to it. We'll see what happens and see how strong they are. Okay, the flies are ready. Let's start with this one. I have my slip knot previously prepared. So the hardest part about this whole experiment was getting the string wrapped around the fly's head without hurting it, without getting its legs wrapped in with it. It took me around an hour and a half to finally get it. Okay, got it attached to my string. I'm trying not to have it too tight so I don't kill it and I want to release it at the end. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. <laughs> okay, now to measure how much it can actually lift off the ground. So I'll start off with a little less string. See what it can do with that. Oh! Where is it? Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, I lost it. I think it's on me somewhere. I guess I cut off too much string. <laughs> Great. Where did it go? <laughs> Dang it. I cut off too much string and it just flew away. <laughs> I found it. See the string hanging right there? Got it. It's right up here. So yes, it can carry this length of string at least. So now let's tie a little bit more on. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> okay. I thought it was gone for good once it flew away with this. Now I'm gonna add a little duct tape to the string and see if it can lift this duct tape. So this is one inch length, one inch by two inch of duct tape. Okay, I doubt that it can lift this much, but let's see. Nope, not even close. Okay, let's cut this in half. 
Okay, here we go. Nope. Let's cut that in half one more time. Try it again. Ooh, almost. Let's cut it in half one more. Oh, it can do it. There it goes. It got caught over there. Okay, so it can lift this amount of weight for sure. It flew away with it. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna call this about its maximum weight that it can lift. Okay, so now to determine how much this duct tape weighs. So I don't have my fine lab scale with me, but I can show you how to determine this weight using a larger scale that can only measure as fine as one gram. Let's see how much 36 inches of this duct tape weighs. And it weighs around five grams. So five grams per 36 inches, and the 36 inches is two inches wide, and so that's 0 0.07 grams per inch squared of duct tape. And then I just measure the square area of this duct tape folded over, so it's 0 0.075 inches squared. So that means that this weighs 52 milligrams. So that's amazing, the fly can lift 52 milligrams. Okay, so that means if you had around 1 million of these flies, it could lift a 120 pound person off the ground. In fact, an aircraft modeler named Frank Ealing, he constructed tiny planes where he harnessed the flying power of flies. He was able to actually power the planes by just flies. <laughs> so there has been fly powered aircrafts made before. <laughs> Okay, now that we've had our fun with our flies, let's let him go. So my other fly didn't do much for me, but I'll let him go too. Okay, and as promised, I will release the fly. Now I just gotta untie it. Oh no, <laughs> it's on me. I kind of feel like I have a pet fly here. And don't you dare accuse me of animal abuse because you put your dogs on a leash. So all I've done is put a fly on a leash. Okay, go free, fly. And this is our fly that did all the heavy lifting. Let's see him go. There he goes. <laughs> hey everyone, thanks for watching again. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to leave me any comments or questions you have in the comments section. Any suggestions, let me know also. If you did like it, consider hitting the subscribe button if you haven't yet. And thanks for watching again, and I'll see you next time.